Hello and welcome to this week's Curator's Corner. I'm Adriana Dunn, the museum curator at the West Tennessee Delta Heritage Center. I'm standing in the last home of prolific bluesman Sleepy John Estes, and today we'll be taking a closer look at an instrument that he played in his youth, the cigar box guitar. Cigar box instruments are traced between 1840 to 1860. The earliest known record of a cigar box instrument is an etching copyrighted in 1867 of two American Civil War soldiers at a campsite, with one of them playing a cigar box fiddle. The instrument you see here is a contemporary four-string handmade cigar box guitar crafted by blues musician Michael Avery from Alamo, Tennessee. It is similar to the one made by Sleepy John when he was 12 years old. His father was a farmer and also played guitar, which inspired Sleepy John to learn and teach himself to play on a cigar box guitar. He took his guitar and sang at local gatherings such as fish fries and picnics, gradually improving his skills. Sleepy John went on to become a pioneer in blues music and toured throughout the United States, Europe, and Japan during his musical career. Thank you so much for watching this week's Curator's Corner, and be sure to tune in this Saturday, January 23rd, from 1 to 4 p.m. We'll be having a series of virtual events that will be in celebration of Sleepy John Estes' birthday. So all of which you can find on the West Tennessee Delta Heritage Center's Facebook page. And if you'd like to come to the museum in person, we will, from 1 to 4 p.m., be having cake. So I cannot wait to see all these virtual events. And I can't wait to eat some cake as well in his celebration. Thank you so much again for watching this week's Curator's Corner. We'll see you again next week.